So in this video, I'm sharing uh, three high probability startups that you can look forward to trading uh, for this week or the next coming week. So firstly, we have USDCAD on the weekly chart. We broke structure around this area here. And then as you can see, we had like a push to the downside. And then this was the corrective move to clearly push and then complete like the overall movement. So as we switch to the uh, daily chart, let me just switch to the daily. On the daily, you can see that uh, we had like a mass ecology area that was broken around here. And then let me just remove it. And then on the hour chart, on the hour chart, this is where we got like a few entries. Uh, this one here. And then we had like a clear push to the downside, corrective move, push down. And then we had this larger corrective move of which we are still looking for selling opportunities up until the lows around there. So let's just check out the entry that we can look forward to taking. And then this is the area that we can focus on. And then we already have like an expanding pattern and then a ascending channel within it. A pattern within a pattern. So we can just wait for a push up. Let me just do this and then show you the thought process. So we can just push to the upside, create a double top and then create a engulfing candlestick or a tight flag. So rather you take a tight flag, six to eight hours around this area here, stop loss just above, and then we will be breaking structure, also creating that tight flag. First take profit would be on the third touch, just because you have first, second, and then you create the third touch. This would be like your first take profit, about 3%. And then the overall target is about 10%, depending on how you get into the entry. Will it be like a risk entry? If you take a risk entry at the top, it would be like this and then maybe a stop loss is just about 80 pips let's just say 30 pips 80 and then for 30 pips your first take profit would be at around 5.9 percent and then the second take profit would be around 14.7 percent so let's look at gbp usd so looking at gbp usd on the daily let's just look at it on the weekly firstly and then on the weekly, we had like a clear overall run to the downside. And then on the out, on the daily, we had like a clear mass psychology area of which is this one. We broke structure and then came back uh, in the form of a cell. And then I think we can just create something of this nature. This could be like the left shoulder. This could be the head. And then we are creating uh, the right shoulder to clearly push back to the upside. So we can look for sales, short term sales up until like the third touch. So let's switch to a hour chart. So on the hour chart, it has already printed like an ascending channel within an ascending. And then this is the mass psychology area. You have some type of a head and shoulders pattern at the top of the structure. That's one here. And then it's pushing to the downside. So what we can do on this one is that we can just wait for a low risk entry around here. We still have like one, two, three. So we still have like three hours for us to get like an entry. So let me switch to the M15. So on the M15, we have this type of price action. Then you can just place an entry on the M15. We're filtering out like the entry on the 15. And then your sell stop. And then your stop loss is just above here. And the market can just clearly push to the downside from here or just go back and then create maybe a larger flag to cater for the uh, one hour price action and then you are in those cells and remember that you have to be cautious when you take like this entry just because we have a inflection point around here of which the market can just clearly push back to the upside so be careful when you take this entry and then we can like break from here and then get to this point here of which it would give us like some uh the reward would be like 6.4 the overall 90 percent about 11 percent uh as our take profit and then looking at euro gbp uh, let's start on the weekly so on the weekly euro gbp created some type of a week of which it creates like wicks on the high same trade. I don't know why, but if you look left, you'll see that it's been creating like wicks 
when it reverses it creates like some type of wick so this is a strong wick that it has created on the weekly chart so let's move to the daily then on the daily you'll see like some type of a clear price action pushing to the downside giving us a tight flag pushing to the downside and then giving us like a larger flag to reach these lows here so let me just remove that and then for our chart uh this is where like i check for momentum and all of that so we had like an impulse corrective move and impulse so we are correcting again so we went out of correction and then went into a correction again so i don't know what will happen but my thought process on this one is pretty simple we can look for a double top within here or a clear push down and then a tight flag just to confirm like the movement and then you get like a low risk entry of which you take the sell around chair and then the stop loss is just above targeting the third touch for 1.9 overall outer structure the touch for 7.5 and then knowing that the overall move has to reach like this area here for about 18 percent and then you can take like a low risk entry if you want with a clear candlestick confirmation of course and then this is the area that you can take it and then maybe a stop loss should be just above here for about 32 pips and then the reward will be slightly below 15% uh, now it will be like 13% so that is it for today's video and I'll post another video if we get like uh, some clear entries in the market